chapter 2, verse 9, one of my favorite verses. It reads as does, but as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man. The things which God has prepared for them that love him. May God add a blessing to the readers, doers, and hearers of his divine word. And today I want to talk briefly from the topic, what God has for me, it is for me. What God has for me, it is 
for me. As Christians, we've learned by now to trust God. We, we know that he has prepared great things for our lives. Though we don't see all of the ways that he's doing it, we, we, we are confident to know that when God plans the program, it will turn out all right. Amen. This text, this text, it focuses on Paul as he writes to the Corinthians, presenting the cross as God's plan for man and, and the doorway to blessings that he has prepared for mankind. The Christians there in Corinth, they were fascinated oh, with the eloquent preaching of men. Uh, they, they love fancy preaching. However, Paul, he wanted them to, to, to know the mysteries of God's plan. He came to them simply and without eloquence, even, even though he was, he, he was quite able to do so. He, his motive was to explain to them how God has prepared from the beginning of time to give them the blessings of salvation. Amen. There in verse 7, Paul, he refers to uh, the grand plan of God as a mystery. All right. 1 Corinthians 2, 7 and 8 uh, says that, but we speak the wisdom of God in mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Amen. With a few exceptions, general, the generally of uh, the word mystery refers to a uh, truth about the plan of God hidden there in the Old Testament. These mysteries are revealed to New Testament believers by, by inspiration of the Holy Spirit. And as they, 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 they research, they search the scripture uh, for great truth and they listen to the preached word. First Corinthians 2 and 10 says, but God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. All right. For the spirit searches oh. all things. All right. Yea, the, the deep things of God. He, he frequently refers to these mysteries in his conversations with the saints. First Corinthians 15 and 51 says, Behold, I show you a mystery. Yes, yes. We shall not all sleep. Mm -hmm. But we shall all be changed. His frequent reference to the mysteries of God was uh, to the great plan that God had for all of mankind. Amen. These mysteries include uh, God's plan of salvation. It includes the, the great mystery of eternal life. It includes the rapture and the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Those who are saved into the kingdom of God uh, at a stage one of their spiritual development. Uh -huh. The Spirit of God leads them through the mysteries of God's plan step by step as, the, as they study uh, the word and, and listen to the preach word. Paul said himself that those who who study God's word yes. and let the spirit reveal truth to them soon find that I have not seen uh -huh. All right. not ear heard Amen. neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him great truth of this text is 
that God has prepared a mysterious plan for mankind collectively. Yeah. Since God is, is personal, yes, he has also prepared a mysterious plan for each individual. Uh -huh. Yes, we've learned the nature of God's plan for us by studying his word and listening to the preached word as it is revealed we understand with a stronger conviction that God's plan for us is the best plan Amen. the enemies of every believer is saved Amen. he uses people and he uses circumstances to destroy our enthusiasm Amen. and he call he uses it to destroy our commitment and satan he prepares for us therefore we should do the same thing we should prepare for him Amen. he prepares ways to hang us uh -huh. Esther chapter 7 verse 10 it tells us how haman prepared to destroy Mordecai uh -huh. by hanging him on a gallows. But hanged on the gallows, those very gallows uh, that he built for Mordecai. Satan is planning ways to hang us. Uh, we, we, we should stay in the word and be aware of all of Satan's attempts. Amen. Not only that, he dig ditches for us. Psalm 57 and 6 reminds us that Satan has prepared snares right. and ditches to uh, entangle us. But only by the grace of God have we escaped them and, and they have fallen into their own ditches. All right. Saints of old would say, you dig one ditch. Right. You better dig too. All right, all right. One of those pictures may just be yeah. for you. That's right. They they prepared a net for my steps. My soul is bowed down. They they, they have digged a pit before me yeah. into the midst of where are they are fallen themselves. God has a prepared plan. For each of us Amen. as well. Yes, he does. Yes, we, we 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 are not required to follow it, but if we do follow, uh -huh. all right. he promises us great rewards. Amen. Look at the ways that God has prepared for us. Yes. First, what he's done, he prepared a place to live, prepared a mate for our life. God prepared a beautiful garden for Adam uh, to live in. He, he even prepared him a wife to share his life uh -huh. with. Amen. And the two of, the, of them were placed in the garden, a perfect match. Uh -huh. Genesis 2 and 8 will tell you they lost their garden home. Because of disobedience. Amen. Yes, but they never disobeyed again. And Adam, he held on to Eve for 900 years. Come on now. All right. God has prepared a place. And he's prepared a person for everybody. Amen. Sometimes we, we take a long time getting to to the right person because we won't let God do it for himself. Uh -huh. We try to go out and do it on our own. Oh, yeah. Even today, God, he has the right apartment, a house already planned for true believers. Oh, and yeah. He has the right mate. Yeah. Right. Ah, no mate already right. in the place. Yeah. See, true believers will search the word yeah. Yeah. Uh, and listen 
to the preach word for God to reveal the mystery. Not only that, he, he's given us victory over our enemies. God is prepared to help us achieve victory over our enemies when we are unjustly persecuted. Psalm 23 and 5 says that I prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Reminds us that God has prearranged uh -huh. for us to share in a victory celebration over our enemies. That, that, that victory may not, may not always be the defeat of our enemies, but it, it could be the, the, the retreat of salvation of a former enemy. See, the victory is prepared uh, because the battle is anticipated. Believers who search the word will understand the mystery of Romans 8 and 28 where it says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, them who are called according to his purpose. God has a paradise prepared for us. Not only does God have a plan for us in this life, but he also has a plan that goes beyond this life into the next life. All right. He has prepared a way for our salvation. Uh -huh. All right. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 says that if I shall confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, then thou shall be saved. You see, when the world was rocking and reeling in despair, the cry went out through time and eternity, stating that the Lord needs somebody. You see, Abraham, he couldn't go. He, he had to deal with the ram in the bush. the commandments. Uh -huh. Elijah, he couldn't go. He had to wrestle with the prophet of Baal. Ezekiel couldn't go. He had to envision those dry bones in the valley. Stand 
Yeah. 